Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight as we count down and we get ready for tonight's Monday Night Raw, which is going to be live October 5th, 2015. I'm not really quite sure where this show comes from, but now we're on the road of basically getting us to Hell in the Cell, which is going to be the end of the month. Uh, live from the Staples Center in uh, Los Angeles when we have Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Um, I honestly was sort of uh, down on what they were doing with the WWE Network because honestly I thought that they were going to do the WWE uh, Madison Square Garden show and then I thought there was only going to be two weeks to build up uh, to get us to the Undertaker match for Hell in the Cell because at um, the last pay-per-view which would have been Night of Champions um, you, they, out of the middle of nowhere, after the first match with uh, Kevin Owens and Ryback, um, they put up the, you know, the the promo for the Go to Hell tour featuring Brock Lesnar that they were going to be having a match at Hell in the Cell. And you would think immediately they would be promoting this like boom, 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 Hell in the Cell, Undertaker versus Brock. But instead, they didn't want to overshadow uh, the big show versus Brock. So they were sort of playing up on that, even though Brock wasn't around to build up for the Madison Square Garden show. You know, Big Show had a mini feud with Cesaro. Um, Big Show was calling him out. They had Paul May Paul Heyman show up on Monday Night Raw last week to deliver a promo um, ab about how Brock was going to be. Uh, a little part of me will admit that I thought Undertaker was going to be at the Madison Square Garden show. You know, showing what Madison Square Garden means um, to, uh, to WWE, what this show meant to the WWE Network. I thought that basically he was going to come out maybe have some sort of a face-to-face confrontation with Brock. Um, nothing physical. Um, it just would have been a flight and it probably would have been something that, you know, would have made the WWE Madison Square Garden show must see. If you didn't see it live, definitely hear about this stare down. You're going to be going to the network and you're going to be watching this on the on-demand section. Um, you know, they've already hyped up the fact to us that, uh, Brock is going to be on Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. I don't know what Undertaker's schedule is going to be, but when you think about normal um, Undertaker appearances when it comes to WrestleMania events, unless it's this year when he just didn't show up on Raw at all, if you go back to WrestleMania 30, um, I, I would guess what they're going to do is they'll have Brock this week, they'll have Taker next week, and then more than likely Brock and Taker on the go home to Hell in the Shell down the road. So what does Brock do? Uh, we just saw Brock have a match with the Big Show where he was very physical. Um, he took um, choke slams. I believe it was four choke slams from Big Show. Then he gave four German suplexes and one and a half F5s to uh, the Big Show. Is he just going to come out on Monday Night Raw and uh, just show off basically the trophy that he shot at the Madison Square Garden show, like saying basically, I'm I'm in the best shape of my career. I'm going to be coming into this match. I beat you at. Um, SummerSlam, and I'm going to beat you again. Uh, because, you know, when it comes down to it, maybe if you look in the record books, Undertaker got the win after a shot in the nuts. But uh, everyone's seen the uh, the visual video footage of, um, you know, the SummerSlam match. Undertaker did tap out. It's not his fault, that uh, or Brock's fault, or Paul Heyman's fault, that Charles Robinson was out of uh position and didn't see it. The timekeeper rang the bell um, because you just thought that it was the right thing to do. A man was in the ring and he was trying to get out of the hold. He said he couldn't take any more. Um, I believe this is officially Undertaker's first tap out of his career. If you go back and watch the Yard DVD or My Yard DVD, the documentary that's on there um, with him and Sarah, they show him wrestling around in his living room with her and he does tap out uh, to Sarah after delivering some some sort of a, a arm hold. Maybe it's a... I, I can't remember what it was. I, I just remember every time I think about it, I honestly get mad because they're showing a thing about an Undertaker taking a whole bunch of pain in the ring and never submitting. They come out of that and they immediately go into him submitting um, in, in his living room. But uh, Brock on Raw, that's the big news for tomorrow. It's going to be a hell of a show. Monday Night Raw, USA Network. See you guys there.